Hello, my name is William John Cox. I'm 70 years old, and I've spent most of my adult life thinking about the human condition. This morning, I'd like to visit with you for a few minutes and talk about some of my thoughts. All of us have this in common. We share this fragile nest we call Earth. We look out with wonder at the universe that surrounds us. And we are not alone. We are a part of the universal mind kind that has existed for all of eternity. We've been watched over for millions of years as we've slowly pecked through our shells and we will be lovingly looked after until we learn to fly. As there is but peace throughout the universe, we will be grounded here until such time as we ourselves overcome the viruses of deception and hatred and violence that infects us individually and collectively. We're not quarantined. It's just that we will never acquire sufficient knowledge, wisdom, and power to travel to any significant place in the universe and to adjacent dimensions or forward or backward in time until every child on earth, irrespective of race, religion, culture, or social condition, has equal access to nutrition, health care, and education. If we fail to grow up and we are still born into our own waste, millions of years may again pass and the ruins of our self-destruction are scoured by the winds and rains of time until another sentient being looks up, notes the phases of the moon, marks the solstice of the sun, sights the planets moving among the stars, and learns to fly. For surely the rare blue water planets of warm yellow stars circling near the edges of spiral galaxies are too precious to be wasted. These are the nests where the eggs of creation are found, where all that is beautiful is born, where we nervously stand with our fledgling wings spread wide, and where the children of mankind are brought forth.